Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at drone programming with AI. So here I have opened up a demo of what we have created. So here you can see the Tello drone is flying and then we have something special. We have an obstacle course that it has to locate and using a camera, it has to go through that hoop and then it has to land. Now, this is not done automatically uh, in terms of hard coding, but it's done automatically using computer vision. So it actually analyzes where exactly is the hoop, where exactly is the obstacle, and then it will pass through that. So this is a custom hoop that we have created. You can create your own, for example, using a tripod or whatever material that you have available. We use some cricket wickets. As you can see these are very cheap and it's they are sturdy because you can add some liquid or sand uh, at the base so it is quite sturdy and it will not fall so here you can see it is not hard coded because i have placed it in different positions and at different angles and it still finds it and it lands after it has completed uh, the task and you can see here we have multiple of these hoops as well and it will do the same thing it will first try to locate where exactly is the hoop and uh, it will go through that and then it will locate the second one and then go through that as well and you can see all of that is in smooth motion and you don't really see where it starts and ends uh, with the first hoop and the second hoop so it's not like go straight wait what what's going on and then it will move forward no it's not like that it will do it in a smooth motion as you can see uh, it's moving along and it's trying to find and here you can see in the second attempt it's at a very different angle but it's still able to understand that it's able to maneuver based on it and then it is moving on and i believe now it will fall <laughs> there you go so it, there's a lot of trial and error by the way it's not easy to get started with this uh, it actually hits the hoops many of the times so there's a bit of fine tuning as well but all of this we are going to explain we are going to explain every single part of it so how exactly can you get it up and running and how can you tune it to get better results so this is the idea of this course that you create an environment where students can actually learn about this and they can compete which one actually does better in terms of performance in terms of accuracy in terms of speed so all of that are variables that you could actually grade on so it is a very good um, pro, it's it's a very good course for the uh, institute environment for school environment and for colleges as well so again it depends on how complicated do you want it to uh, go so here you can see multiple attempts with the, the double hoops and here i tried out a different angle to show you what exactly happens so here i have three hoops i believe yes three hoops and uh, it goes through one of them and then it will go to the next one now uh, I've done it at home so <laughs> you can see there's a lot of mess around as well so uh, just ignore that but here you can see it's going through the hoop it's trying to find oh this one I forgot to uh, the code was wrong so uh, I asked it to go through two hoops instead of three so all you do is you tell it how many hoops you want to go through or do you want to find yourself how many there are or do you want to keep looping it's up to you uh, how many do you want to add you can define in the beginning so here we define three hoops and as you can see it will try to find the third one as well and then it will go towards it and go through that and all of this is done using ai so we are using the latest artificial intelligence technology so to embed that in the drone and there are some complications in that there are ways to actually run ai models because they are a bit heavy for the drone for the processing part because you're getting the camera feed you're getting the ai model uh, it's processing so there are some techniques to actually get it running properly so we will discuss all of that as well within the course so here you can see some of the other attempts and it's still able to do now of course uh, there are some attempts that it will fail but then you have to fine tune and get it up and running and make it better so that's part of the course as well so here you can see a different angle and is it working yeah it's a little bit hard to see the drone is here at this point and it's moving through that 
So where exactly can you find this course and how can you get started with this? I think these are some of the attempts that we, uh, uh, we had. Uh, I believe these are some of the failed attempts. So it will be fun to see what happens here. So I think it's going to hit. Uh, oh, it lands early. <laughs> so that's that's the basic idea. So it's not always the best to get started with right away. So you have to fine tune and then you will get some better results. I believe this is a mistake as well. So how exactly can you get started with this? Uh, we are actually launching our AI drone programming course and there you go, it just drifts, uh, drifts off. So uh, there's a, it's a lot of fun to actually get started with this. You know, there are mistakes, you rectify them, you get it up and running and so on. So how can you get started? Uh, you can go to our Kickstarter page. Right now, we will be launching it on 2nd of April. And the best thing you can do is you can go to our uh, Kickstarter page and click on Notify Me on Launch because on the first day only, we will be giving it for 50% off of the original price, which will be after Kickstarter. Now, if you uh, buy it after the first day, you will get 30% off. But for the first day only, it will be 50% off. And a lot of people have been asking what exactly is the price of this course. Now, earlier we had some complaints that um, it was a bit on the expensive side. So this time around, we are making it a bit cheaper. Not a bit cheaper, a lot cheaper. In fact, the first basic course, the first tier of this course will be in double digits. So you can think about what will be the pricing based on that. So 2nd of April, only nine days left. So you can um, see the timer here and it will be launched at exact uh, this timing. So if you want to check out and if you don't want to miss out on the first day deal, then this is the right way to get started. Just go to computervision.zone. Uh, the timer will be there and you can uh, click on notify me on launch and make sure you get uh, on the first day if you're planning to buy it. If you're not planning to buy it, I would definitely recommend go to our YouTube course and get started with that first before you actually purchase or get, uh, get it up and running. Now, if you do want to purchase everything, the drone course, which is on our YouTube, we will give it without any ads. And then you want to purchase our previous advanced drone course that has a lot of uh, advanced techniques like PID, advanced face tracking, body tracking, uh, gesture control, and so on. So if you want to get that, plus this, all of this, that will also be available on 50% off on the first day. So you can get the complete package as well. So I believe this is it uh, for our demo. Uh, I hope you have learned something new and I will be sharing the demo of the computer vision part as well. So what exactly is the camera looking at? So I will post that video in a day or two. So make sure you subscribe and I will share that video. I will uh, and make sure to get notified uh, turn on the notification so you get notified when I upload that video. So it will be a lot of fun to watch how exactly uh, the drone perceives the environment and makes these decisions. So I will show that in the upcoming videos as well. So this is it for today. I hope you have learned something new. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends and I will see you in the next one.